hi guys welcome back to our channel or if you're new here welcome so it has been a while and i think i have filmed this intro about five different times now where we were going to restart coming back to youtube and the last time i filmed an intro i said oh the reason that we stopped filming was because all of our footage got corrupted which it did that's true um, and we lost like the whole part two of our removing the chimney breast video so we were really deflated um, and then we were just gonna carry on and show you what we were up to but on reflection I think we were being really dramatic we actually have so much of that footage um, that we can share with you that makes sense it's not going to be as good as it was it's a bit bitty but I think we were just yeah we were just dramatic so here we go we're gonna we've got enough to show you so as promised, six months later, here's the second part of us removing our chimney stacks ourselves from the top, the living room and the bedroom. Hey guys, so the chimney is down from the roof and now we are taking it down from the attic through to the bedroom. So I'm going to be in the attic today, hence the head torch and my hair was getting so crispy from the dust I have a shower cap as my PPE and we're going to be taking the bricks down from the next stage. Dan has a much chicer outfit than I do, uh, he's got a little boiler number and that moustache is really, it's, it suits the vibe. Yeah so that's where the chimney used to be, we've now patched it up and tiled it. We had heavy rain last night and we are watertight which is great. So now we're just up in the loft and we are going to start taking it down from here. So basically, obviously this is where the chimney used to be. We wanted to save this brick uh, as the wall between the third bedroom and the second bedroom. Um, but essentially we don't really know if there's a way of supporting that weight of brick on the joists which is our issue, because obviously this is, if you look down here, this is obviously a solid brick wall that goes all the way down um, to the lower chimney as well. Um, and so, we will have to probably knock this down and replace it with either a stud wall or a concrete block wall, which is lighter. Um, but by knocking this down, it means that we can actually support it uh, between the two joists here and, and between across, across the rooms on the joists as well. So it'd be a lot stronger. I think that if we start taking bricks off from below this wall, where the floor is, we might es essentially see some failure within the middle of the bricks as in it'll start to sag. Uh, and that's not what we want. Um, so yeah big issue because that's a lot of extra work that we didn't really want to do or touch but I think if we want to make it safe it has to be done. Yeah this is our bedroom so we don't want to fall through the floor or have a wall falling down on us. Maybe but a wall falling down on us not falling through the I'm worried that a stud wall will let all the sound in and the third bedroom is going to be Dan's study slash gaming situation awesome. so I'm concerned of the noise. Yeah but but I think if we use a concrete wall, it might be better, concrete blocks, but I think you can probably get some good sound insulation with a stud wall, but we'll, we'll have to see when it comes to it. Do a little bit more research, but we've got some time, because obviously this will take a while to get out. Yeah, so this has delayed us. Boo! But it happens. So, this is where the chimney used to be and this is the part of the wall that we had to rebuild I mean obviously apart from like where the obvious plaster work is you would probably never know um, and we did all of that ourselves um, we still need to do like the finishing coat of plaster etc and neaten it up but we have a wall back now which is great so we are at the final stage of the chimney, well not the final stage but we're at the final bit of the removal of the chimney breast so we've made it all the way downstairs now. We're now uh, in the dining room stroke kitchen and hopefully, well I don't know if by the end of today but we're going to start removing this 
uh, chimney breast and also, well, the wall. So we will then have the kitchen and dining room as one open so space. Just to refresh, this is our kitchen and this is our dining room. And obviously this is now coming down. For when we have the extension, we want to make from here to the end our utility room and then the kitchen will start here. So we're thinking, we're wondering if we can save this bit of the wall so that there's something to build out on um, and we can reuse or repurpose this. But we're just currently going to measure out whether we think, I mean, from I, do we think this is enough for a utility room? Obviously, we've got tumble dryer what's the other thing called washing machine maybe like a spare fridge some cupboard space for mops so we're just going to get the tape measure out now and kind of think is that wide enough it feels wide enough but then i don't know i always worry don't want to get it wrong so we might just measure out have the final stage of the chimney removal obviously here we used to have the dining room to kitchen wall and there was a fireplace here and that's all come down you'll have seen unfortunately they had like concreted over an area or something that we then had to smash up to remove it but when we did that it took we ended up having to take a hole out of the floor essentially because I can't remember the ins and outs, I'll get down to explain what happened, but it actually meant that we had to rebuild this floor, which is what, that took us so long um, to get it the perfect uh, height, to get it even, so we had to rebuild some supports underneath, so that when you walk on it, I mean we haven't bolted it down yet, but um, yeah, so we had to sort out this. And then we actually haven't put some plasterboard back on the top, but that's obviously where the chimney uh, stack came through, which was now a massive hole. So we've uh, put some new joist hangers in, um, and then we will have to kind of do some plaster work to fill that up. But yeah, so we have the open plan situation that we wanted to. This was going to cost us about five grand to get someone else to do it for us. Um, but because it wasn't load bearing, We've managed to do it for ourselves and I will do like an updated costs video, but I think it's definitely under, it's definitely under a thousand pounds this cost us. So big savings, savings that are going to have to be spent on other house things anyway.